Hello. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Jenna. Hi. I'm wonderful. Good. I'm Jenna Anton. I am a conscious beauty artist utilizing non-toxic products as my medium for the past year and a half. So that means makeup and skincare. And this is Lauren Bradley. And um, she, we know each other from uh, the fashion industry. We've crossed paths for many years. Um, what did? What is your? What is your role in the fashion industry? My role in the fashion industry used to be um, designer and uh, custom designer in in various uh, cultural imagery projects, and um, also expert tailor. And basically, um, she's a badass and can do anything with any sort of. Yeah. Um, any thread. sort of material and thread, she can she can just whip up something I magical. Am. So yeah, uh, masterclass in thread <laughs> management <laughs> with a Virgo rising, so that has the meticulousness. But yeah. through a we've known each other for almost ten years now, and mm. through a series of life revealing itself, I we have found each other at a similar crossroads where you have now created a high vibrational skin food yeah. and I'm at my place where I am now being really particular with what I put on myself, my friends and my community, what I want to share with them. And so I've been trying out your products for the last year mm. and they, I can't wait to get into them with you and share. They super resonate, but I want to hear a little bit more because as a, as what you, this is not your area of expertise on the path that you were on with thread, right? right. So the correlation right. here is the beauty industry that you've been witnessing in the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. So obviously it would take many, many hours to talk about how you got there. But in short, can you just give us a little bit of background mm -hmm. context of like how that path has led you to creating these products, which are called Bella Nectar. Yes. And they are, um, they are all made with love and they are sourced beyond um, sustainable and uh, authentically and transparently. Um, you feel them energetically. I've just really connected with them energetically and now I'm at the point where I really want to educate myself on the actual ingredients so that when I am using them on myself or others, I'm, I'm not, I'm taking the opportunity to, to heal myself or others mm -hmm. by my hands that I'm already doing, adding this yep. magic ingredient to it from nature and then really applying it to, to the healing. So, yeah, so much to, to, to tack, to drop into today, but mm -hmm. yeah, just a little bit of context and then we'll go from there. Okay. So I guess in the beginning, I mean, the, the, the sort of starting point for this little brainchild was um, my a body of work that I did as a fashion designer. I made a collection of clothing, and then I started to get this impulse that my, you know, year three I was, or you know, or or the the third incarnation of it. I was going to do one collection, and then the next collection, and then the third incarnation was going to be products. And so I kind of had this like oh, inkling. Okay. But at that point, I was just connecting to my neighborhood and like being obsessed with my rose bushes and the uh, rosemary in the neighbor's yard, which rosemary is my favorite, one of my favorite California and it, and it grows offerings. so wild here. Oh, I, I mean, love it. Yeah. I mean, this, this is, there's rosemary in this, which is like one of the key scents. But, um, you know, I was, I was thinking about products and then I started diving in and that was about five years ago. And I taught myself chemistry and formulation and started everything from scratch and if I didn't oh. know something I would I would call a chemist that I found and I would just bother them and I'd say I have another question um so this 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 and she would throw out crazy terms that I didn't understand and I would take notes and then I would research and so I researched different aspects of these things but then I also really took the time to tap into myself and my soul and my ancestral lineage, mm -hmm. I would say, Absolutely. because I found out that I had a great grandmother that in the 1920s had a yard in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, filled with plants that she would eat and make medicine out of. Mm. So I was like tapping in to your the, blood. Yeah. And, and, and this, everything kind of came really easily to me. And, um, I guess this is a good place to sort of segue into the other driving force of why I created this. So that was sort of like the fun side mm -hmm. of it. The and intuitive then the, and instinctual mm -hmm. kind and of just sort of trust. seeing fashion just naturally progressing into 
a combination of scents and skincare and also, you know, garments. So that was like my my sort of fun driving force. But then on the mm -hmm. other side of it, I got sick for a while. And that slowly teased out all of the egoic side of fashion mm -hmm. that was driving me unconsciously. Sure. So I didn't realize how egoic I was in my process of art making. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, <laughs> I really kind of found myself, so really. I don't know, I guess maybe just, what's that word when you're um, up against a wall? You know, like the, like life pushes you up against a wall. Right. So I was kind of pushed up against this like illness that I had, and through the illness, nobody could heal me. No one could help me. No one could let me know why this was happening or that was happening. And everyone conventional was saying like, well, you know, that's just the way it is. We just don't understand cures except for surgery or drugs. And I was like, no, mm -hmm. to both. So what I did is I did a bunch of deep diving. Um, research into my own process and that involved a lot of minerals and remedies and herbal remedies and so nature this, yeah I had nature. to go back to nature I mean it, we are nature and what you know nature has an order to it I think that is really intelligent and when it's out of balance illness and disease we're going to feel illness have a disease. place to move in yeah as right. just as a reminder and as a message of letting us know that's how we know because there's so mm -hmm. many systems working all at the same time without us even trying to do and so when there's a little bit of imbalance it's just a it's a cry really to like yes. bring something into yes. bring that back into homeostasis yes homeostasis yeah. is the definite key phrase I mean, right. Versus, nature, nature has homeostasis i mean yeah. the way that it, it all intersects even after it, it has like a fire or a mm -hmm. volcano like it knows yeah it like goes there and then knows how to naturally come back to yeah. the homeostasis yeah. phrase. and yeah. i think so many people get mad or they get frustrated at sickness or injury um, when really the body is operating so magnificently oh, on yeah. its own and then it's that's just its way of really communicating with us mm -hmm. on an energetic mm -hmm. level, level level on an emotional level on a physical level mm -hmm. and obviously the the medical system that we're in is to cover up the symptoms take them out yeah. um, which doesn't get to the root of the problem which yeah. this is just some information that's being shared so yeah. i love that you were willing to um kind of you know stay know that you that you have everything that it takes to heal yourself it's just a matter of navigation and learning mm -hmm. about your systems and what's mm -hmm. happening so that you can bring it back into place and then so interesting to see how yeah skincare is going to tie right back into yeah that, well what so i cool. do want to say to that r really quickly is that through it all i learned that if you got out of balance you can get back into balance yes so a lot of times we like to say okay we're broken or we're you know, broken beyond repair. I mean, that's when surgery comes in. Like, well, we, we, sorry, you know what? We've done some diagnostic tests and it looks like we're just gonna have to cut it out and throw in the garbage. And I was like, no way. I'm rooting for this organ. This yeah. organ is going to get back into balance because mm. I trust it and I believe in it and I will do anything to allow and foster that process. And so looking at the bigger picture, these I mean, I'm not trying to heal your organs, you know, or your. Well, it's an extension. You know what best. I'm saying? I'm yeah. not. I'm not trying to like say, be be your doctor and discourage you from something that you're discussing with your doctor. However, you know, there is a self advocacy yeah, though first, and like this, an intuition that we have that when we give our power away into the doctor. I mean, they're yeah. great for this magical like. I broke a bone. Like, help me. You triage, know, fuse, amazing. Fuse I it mean, back like, together. Triage. <laughs> yes. They're amazing, Completely. but like to reconnect you with your healing path and to forge a relationship with the natural version of yourself and the whole version of yourself, they're not necessarily the best, you know, they're not the quickest route. No. So, well, it's a business. This, and that's yeah. Fine. And I mean, so, I mean, not that I just bottled magic. I'm not trying to say that. I think that like you have. Bottled magic. Why but, not? But I mean, I, I figured out how to put nature and put an opportunity into it's an opportunity to create a co-creative relationship with an aspect of nature that reminds you of your own 
nature and will work towards balance instead of singling out problems. Right. I think when we look at problems and we look at like, when we look oh, at our body as a machine, like, this is, right? This is We're a problem. Kind of, I don't right. like this. How, yes. I want to remove this. You know, it's like looking, starting to look well, at things. Well, it's like as dissecting a it, right? Dissecting it individually versus it, how it works and all the systems that it is built mm -hmm. to work within. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think that's the real difference. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. So you came to create yeah yeah so I so I I studied about I mean I dove into studying just tons of ingredients and then started to see patterns and started to see because you were healing your blood right can we say that yeah I was well I mean I was healing my whole system my whole system was out of balance my yeah. whole I was not in homeostasis not physically not emotionally not spiritually mm -hmm. and not mentally mm -hmm. you know but it was just stress from life because stress from life trauma and stress mm -hmm. will accumulate and when those traumas and stresses accumulate then that is um, going to push you off of balance off of homeostasis and when you're off of homo homeostasis symptoms appear yeah it's so also releasing my, hormones into your body that send it into an imbalance right mm -hmm. like but it's also it, but it's the enzymatic processes underneath that that's causing the hormones to go out of balance that's right. causing the symptom that, and and when you're so out of intricate. balance you're out of balance in your way and your symptom everybody's out of balance that's experiencing a symptom but it could show up in your you know anywhere in, so it's in almost one part like, of your body it shows up in another part of my of my body it's almost like this um, magic mystery of like if we just kind of addressed it as like a fun game of like this is the out this is the outward thing symptom that i'm experiencing and then like peeling back the layers and and and, and connecting the dots back to the origin yeah is yeah. like could be daunting or it could be a fun kind of navigation process. Yeah. And of course we know way more than outsourcing that to anybody else. Oh yeah. Because we've oh, been yeah. living with our bodies yeah. for a long time. Definitely. And I like to you know, what I when I was not well, I was hiring people to work with me because you know, you're gonna go to a doctor or you're gonna go to an even an acupuncturist yeah. or anybody outsource a team member that they're gonna be on team healing Jenna or team healing Lauren. And so I'm the pro project That's Lily, manager. That's by the way, who keeps cruising back. <laughs> yeah. She's my, my beautiful art partner over here and we're in my new studio, our new studio. I didn't mean to interrupt you, yeah, but yeah. in case everybody was wondering who's the pretty lady yeah. who keeps cruising back and all those she dresses that she's made from upcycled materials by hand. Gorgeous. It's a whole different day. Anyway. What was I saying? Um, Sorry. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Yeah. Oh. Well, Oh, team Jenna. Oh, team, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So you're going to create a team, right? Right. But you're the project manager. You're the CEO. Yes. So many times people will outsource and say, oh, the doctor said. The doctor said I needed to do this, this, and this. And I would always question every doctor, and I would say, I'm sorry. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to fire you. You're not good for the project. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but like, I'm the project manager. I'm managing this project. I'm in charge of my own wellness and I'm actually my biggest cheerleader because a doctor isn't you they don't care whether yeah. you're they do care I mean doctors I care, care. For the seven minutes while they're they with you care but they, <laughs> but you care more than them and that's you how have more, you have be. more skin in the game no pun intended you have more skin in the game and it's a collaboration it's yeah. a collaboration which brings me back to the collaboration with nature which mm. then this is an opportunity to have a collaboration with nature because um I looked at I looked at um the way that the world works in from a natural lens, and I looked at the different um, the different um, kingdoms. That yeah, let's get into let's get into the kingdoms because this is interesting. Yeah, and so a lot of times, I, well, in in my journey, I was like, you know, and I'm going to just stop oh. you really quickly because mm -hmm. with my research thus far into skincare, the majority of the products that I've been working with are plant based. Mm -hmm. Yep, which. That rings true to me because that's nature derived. That means that it's not synthetic. Um, and obviously we're sourcing from nature. I'm just now learning from you that also to not include the other natural kingdoms in is a myth. So the other kingdoms, yeah. and I would love to have you elaborate. And we're very familiar with the plant one. And I think the animal kingdom we're familiar with, but there's so, so many people are like, they don't want any animals to yeah. be included because of the way that animals are treated. So yeah, they go back not... into vegan, but there's a myth. And I know that just with working with bees and beeswax, like, I, like, why would I not 
If, as long as it doesn't hurt them. I mean, listen, do you know a bee that wants to take a vacation? No, they're happy I mean, to work. I mean, if you tell a bee not to work, they're gonna get super depressed. <laughs> what are they gonna do, just go yes. surfing? Yes, and obviously yes. we are, they you know, want and to I work. wanna hear about the yeah. animals. And then the mineral kingdom, it's something that's very new to me and I've never really thought about. So I'm yeah. excited to really learn the from mineral you, kingdom, which in, you were forced to kind of, I was forced to figure out. So that sort of ties in why, why I was talking about my health journey is that my health journey led me to the mineral kingdom as the crux of the root cause of why I was imbalanced. And that was a mineral imbalance because the minerals run the body. The minerals are also running the plant kingdom. The minerals are running the animal kingdom. The minerals are feeding the the fruits and vegetables that you're eating. Supposedly, the soils should have the minerals in it, but our soil has been so messed with with um, misguided systems, farming systems, and mm -hmm. you know the like. And we can't eat all of our minerals anymore. No, basically. we don't have minerals in our since soil. when? Since before 1950, would you say? I mean, I mean Monsanto has chelated copper out of the soil you know, quite yeah. with their the glycosphate. 30 or 40 years. I mean, they've done a really good job. Pretty much for the majority of who is watching this has been soil. alive. I've been yeah. alive since the 70s. I feel like yeah. I, I was there a little bit before all of that kind of came into play and I did, yeah. I felt like I ate all of my minerals yeah. and food and vitamins. But then but. conversely, I mean, and this is gonna get off track, so we'll just go off track for two seconds and we'll come back. <laughs> but- um, We like to talk also, all over the place. Yeah, also in terms of minerals, in 1940, the government decided that they wanted to fortify our food with iron. Because, 1950. Yeah, 1940. Yeah, 40. Okay. And then in 1970, they upped the amount by 300%. Got it. So what's happening right now is our food is fortified. We're supposed to have on the natural human body, one gram of, of iron in, one gram of iron out because we have a recycling system. You are born with a recycling system. But when you take fortified grains, because they did it because when women are pregnant, their, their minerals go off track. Because they need to. Mm -hmm, because they need to. And um, they're building a human. Yes. And so for that 1% of the com of the population, they decided that they should fortify us with mm -hmm. iron. And that, you know, there are other countries that are iron deficient because they don't have enough iron. But nobody, it's not it's iron big, deficiency. You know, it's not. It's a big it's, myth. It's a big myth. And so we are all iron toxic. Plus we don't mm -hmm. have the magnesium and the copper and all of the other good minerals in the soil because of the pesticides so mm. it's kind of a big huge mess so anyway well it's perfect it keeps yeah. us all sick and dependent mm -hmm. and kind of not mm -hmm. not working at the yeah. optimal yeah level so i decided i wanted to in um make a line that has hi hi no, fred. fred he's down you'll see him thank you yeah you're welcome <laughs> Right. I'm in a series, uh, we're in like this little artist community here, so we have the lovely people who walk by and say hi. Um, <laughs> um, so wait, I was saying, okay, oh, yes. so the there, yeah, there's- The kingdoms, the three yeah. kingdoms that you were like, when we you were- We have a mineral kingdom, we have an animalia, animalia kingdom, and we have a plant kingdom. And all three kingdoms, I took, I was inspired by all three kingdoms, and then, um, took various elements from these animal kingdoms and then arranged them in really result-driven, holistic, meaning whole, natural, full-spectrum vitamins, vitamins that weren't made in um, a laboratory and put them in skincare so mm. you can feed your face. I Beautiful. Mean, yeah, and what? then, but then I also have therapeutic, this is therapeutic for your, this is transdermal, and this is um, a therapy that when, so magnesium is another story, you know, to go off on a little one more tangent, is that we use, us. we use magnesium as fuel for our stress. So it's our stress mineral. We burn magnesium, like think about um, gas in a car, right? You mm -hmm. put stress in your magnesium burn car. Mm -hmm. And when you go through your daily life, which is pretty stressful, everybody's, I mean, now we're living yes. less of this. I mean, I don't know, the jury's out. Is it, <laughs> is it less stressful now? I'm not sure. It depends, <laughs> depends who you are, right? how you perceive stress. Yeah, or and your how you coping process. mechanisms, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, we burn stress. And, and we, so don't we, refill burn up, we don't refill our, our magnesium. Tank. It's called a magnesium RBC, which is your red blood cell count of how fast you burn your magnesium. And when you are driving from point A to B, for example, 
and you're in traffic and something cuts you off, you're gonna burn your magnesium. Mm -hmm. When you're in a divorce, you're gonna burn your magnesium. When you're in a stressful job, you're gonna burn your magnesium, you burn your magnesium. Now, our soil is supposed to have magnesium in it, so we're supposed to grow the bell pepper and have the magnesium, have one serving of magnesium and be back to, you know, up to speed, fill our gas tank up. But the bell pepper of 2020 has no, hardly any magnesium in mm. it, but the bell pepper of like 1950 that your grandma would eat would have the day's worth of magnesium. So the supplementation is yes. It's, it's, Long there's story no other short, option. we're all working from with a wallet full of credit cards and no real money in our magnesium bank. So <laughs> uh. yeah, and so we're all on credit. So um, this product is magnesium that um, there's magnesium in it, and it's a balm. And so if you're have a stressful day and you want to re, you know, replenish, your refuel your tank. Put it on the bottoms of your feet or the insides of your arm or the insides of your thighs and slip off to sleep because sometimes when you you know that restless leg or that mm -hmm. you know when you're up too late and you're like oh my leg feels crazy i mean i definitely know you that know magnesium that is brought in to play at night to kind of mm -hmm. and it shuts you down the, yeah. oh, I get yes restless legs. yes you, restless do. Leg, yeah. you need like magnesium on, on, on the plane mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. that Mag sense. yeah and it's just that kind of like oh. that 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 we should, feeling be, that we should be refueling with magnesium every day, whether oh, yeah. it's in a soak or a bath or, or a balm a or tincture. a tincture. But this balm is really nice. I keep it by my bedside. I mean, it's so luxurious. Yeah, and it has like a... Because you're going to put something on at night anyways. You're going yeah, to sleep, right? Like, I love to have my bedtime routine yeah. rituals. Like, mm. beyond the... Uh, uh, Beyond yeah. the smell and the feeling and the actuality of the intention of actually putting something on... Yeah. I what where I love with your products, it's almost like stacking mm -hmm. the, the hacking that's happening. Like we're already doing yeah. something anyway, so it's right. almost like by like right stacking the the modalities mm -hmm. so that we're getting all of this be, besides just the action of like my feet feel dry or my hands are dry. I'm yeah, gonna put on some lotion. Yeah, what if we're also putting on a salve is, that's also yep. transdermally going into and, and activating, well, obviously filling yeah. up our magnesium tank. So that's definitely, and this is an act of self care, an act of self love, totally. an act of self care, which I think your beauty yeah. products should be an act of self love and an act of self care. They shouldn't be, you shouldn't be doing it out of desperation. Like you shouldn't be like, I need that cream because I have to get better. Well, that's my you whole know? message like, yeah. is all about the consciousness versus unconsciousness. Mm -hmm. We're already mostly unconsciously doing these things. We're product heavy. Right. A, pe a group of people yeah. as humans we I think they say women use like 50 something products on them a day yeah. so it's just the education process and the um, the thoughtfulness the consciousness that comes yeah. into play with like wait what am I putting on I'm already putting something on why am I putting something on so even before we even need to know once we start getting our hands on these high vibrational products it's already subliminally and physically, mm -hmm. actually, and emotionally doing something beyond before we even need to understand it. Right, right. And then the more we understand, the more placebo can come into effect and the more intentional we can be when we're using right. our hands as application gloves yep. to put it on of why we're putting on, where we're putting on, what that product is. And so we're really supporting the healing process simultaneously. Yes. yes. So it just becomes this very conscious act of self-love. Yes. Really, ultimately, and... Yep. What I know to be true is that we cultivate our beauty. And so the more versus replicate it. So yeah. replication of beauty is not sustainable. It's not unique. It's not, it's, no. it's not a path that. Well, and you're always risking that you're going to be found out when you're replicating. Right? Well, it's also a messaging when you're replicating, you're actually saying I'm not enough. When yeah. you put products on your skin that yeah, have toxins, well, your, 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 your act of toxicity and putting that on says I'm not enough that's mm -hmm. what that's what I translate mm -hmm. out of it and it's like, going to it's going to it might not do something to you today oh no it's, it might not do something to you yeah and the build up let me tell you as somebody who had the breakdown already you don't want to get to you, you want to mitigate the build up yeah because no. you don't even really realize when you're building up those toxins or those toxins and, and it could be it comes to a standstill it's all, it's all interconnected body mind spirit mental emotional it's all inter interconnected so the frequency of a toxin and the f you'll match that frequency with your emotions and mm -hmm. your mind and your 
it goes down spirit. it brings you down to that mm -hmm. level basically yeah without even like realizing what you're doing and so yeah i yeah. love that you're speaking out about this now because your experience um can support all of us and just give us a yeah. little inspiration to like the sooner that we take back um and become our own advocate for our own health the earlier and the sooner we do that the more prevention um and the mm. more longevity that we can have because the deal is as a human person we are all going to come upon breakdown in our body mm -hmm. and so we can continue to out we can continue to outsource that and ask somebody else to give our power away or we can just start to educate ourselves now yeah like let's just do it now so that we yeah. and it's not as complicated as everybody wants us to believe it's like, not as complicated as being sick for uh, a period and then of trying to That's unravel that right because then you're like very unraveling versus this is already optimally for the most part working great mm -hmm. what do i do to support each organ right. what do i do to support like all the different systems mm -hmm. in my in my body would mm -hmm. we have seven different systems or something yeah i think so and it's a, it feels you know I'm, oh you, you're talking about the body yeah the like, body systems, yes. like mm -hmm. the autonomic nervous system and, you know, the, oh, the those systems, systems, the physical systems, all yes. the systems, the I mean, respiratory, so, yes. the muscular, the skeletal, all of those. Yes, systems. all of those. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I uh, thank you for being willing to go through many years of suffering because you are the right person to do that because you have the mind that was unable to uh, dissect and work your way back and really advocate for yourself yeah. and then lead you to. Uh, I mean, you're look, you're finally healing right after all these oh, years it's so nice yes. I mean, it, it, and for a while I would say guys I'm, I'm really healing now because healing is so zigzag yes. I mean you, you zig over here and you're like I'm doing it and you're doing it yeah. but then you zag out and you have another thing to clear or to a layer of the onion oh, yeah a lot of this is emotional too just know when you, in, yeah. you zag out and so but the, you know my the thread I held on to the entire time was I kept saying, I'm healing now, I'm yeah. healing now. Even though, sometimes I would say, am I in denial, am I insane? Yeah. And That's people the energy would look, though, that was yeah, like Yeah, they would the... look at me and they say, like, you're gonna die, you need to go to the, I would pack a sandwich and dip, go to the hospital and be like, hi, I need a test, and they'd look at me like, really? And then they would do my numbers and they'd be like, oh. How are you even living? You know, and then somebody would but... call me and say, are you okay? And I said, oh, I'm fine, I packed a sandwich. But I was always like, I'm, I'm going to do, like, yeah. I'm healing now. And then people are like, okay, she's healing now. And then, and then they wouldn't understand when I was back sure, in the trenches. Is, yeah. But I, your belief system is what carries Holy. you. You have to, absolutely have to believe. And what, what were we watching the other day? The belief of, bi bio, the belief of biology. Yeah, because the, once you change your perspective, you change your whole biology. Yeah. 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 Epigenetics, yeah. which yeah. is like fascinating stuff. Yeah. So what I'm learning here, because I'm already intuitively, now that I've switched really products and I'm really intentional with what I'm putting on and taking the time to like give my skin skin food mm -hmm. and to know that, oh my gosh, how was I not aware that this was such a missed opportunity? Like to be able to supplement through your skin mm -hmm. Besides eating it, besides taking supplements, besides whatever mm -hmm. else, like what a cool opportunity that we can use our skin, which is our biggest organ, mm -hmm. to intake what we're missing mm -hmm. to bring us back into homeostasis. And that mm -hmm. comes with minerals. Well, the magnesium is really going to work transdermally much better than going through the system and going through the, the digestive system. Well, that I think that's the whole thing with supplements, period. Like, that's such a miss. Like, when you take a supplement, it has to go through the digestive tract. So. Mm -hmm. Um, for long, for one, it takes longer. By that, mm -hmm. it could die. There's other things that can come into play. Mm -hmm. And who says yeah. that by the time it's it's there in the stomach, and then the liver is going, okay, I'm going to delegate you over here. Like this just goes straight into the bloodstream. Yeah. The liver is like, okay, I need you here, or we're yeah. balancing here. And so I'm really excited to be able to use my skin as as the as an as really the best place to intake what I'm missing and biohack it turns into this beautiful self-love ritual yeah totally. and <laughs> cultivate your beauty because yeah. it's nature yeah. and it's all the things we're missing and when our body's in balance we just naturally look more beautiful and more mm -hmm. alive and more bright because mm -hmm. everything is in homeostasis mm -hmm. so it's this like mm -hmm. it's this cycle that makes so much sense to me that for me now to go back to any other thing i don't care about any other i don't care about the products it's like what is in here right. that is gonna support my and have right. me coming back into right besides like, that it smells good and i just intuitively know that it's good like 
now understanding that and yeah. figuring out like, wait, I can supplement and do this with, you know. So let's talk about yeah. your new product because this so, is fascinating to yeah, me. Yeah, so this this is um, <clears throat> this is my bioidentical retinol balm. So I call it the Serrate of Immortel Ancestral Recuperative Balm. But what it is, is it's pure can we retinol. Just, can we talk about retinol? Because retinol yeah. is a big word in the industry. It really is. And me, intuitively, I haven't done any skincare products that I didn't trust or didn't Same know. Same here. And so yeah. I, people are like, do you use retinol? Like, I have no interest in using right. any of that because I just intuitively was like, I just don't trust that retinol is going to come in and right. eat. Like, my, my system knows how to naturally work. Right. And I know that it's eating your skin, your dead skin cells. And well, the, so the vitamin A. Can you just break down yeah. what retinol is? So, the retinol is a vitamin A, and it's a vitamin A, like, not not this one, but a vitamin, the, a, a, like a leading brand. Yes. <laughs> a conventional, leading, very the, successful brand. The conventional leading brand yeah. of retinol is coming from a laboratory, and it is a synthetic, isolated vitamin A that is being utilized on your skin and it is going to shift and change your collagen and et cetera. Speed up the process basically, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. it's making but, it go into action. Yeah, yeah. but what this, a message. what this is, is this is... And why actually, would we not want to do that? Well, because... Because I intuitively don't want to do right. that, but I've never really understood why. I was... So... In nature, let's look at like an example of like an aspirin. You're going to take an aspirin that's a laboratory made and um, the laboratory took the chemical compounds from the willow bark and they have isolated what makes the aspirin aspect of the willow bark and then put it into a pill and it's just that chemical Versus compound. us just going straight to the willow bark. Straight to we, the willow bark. We would want to... Uh, support a symptom that right. we take aspirin for. Right, and okay. so the natural version of it is gonna support you. I mean, it, it, they say that they're like, you know, it, the our ancestors say that they're, for every ailment that we have on this planet, this mother of ours has given us a remedy for. And it doesn't come from the lab. It just no. doesn't come from a lab. No, because before there were labs, yeah. there was like, it, we have lived yeah. for centuries and centuries and yeah. thousands and So every years. single ingredient that I use, speaking to that, yeah. every single ingredient that I use is an ingredient that um, cultures have used for thousands of years. I mean, it, I mean, it's almost like keeping the ancestral lineage alive versus and, us just shutting down it. everything that they've like been, yeah. yeah. They've tested it and it works. Yeah. So, so this is an actual whole vitamin A, and it's a um, structurally identical lipid version of vitamin A that comes straight from nature. It comes from the An Animalia kingdom, and it is when it, it your body recognizes the molecular structure of this vitamin A because you are bioidentical to another mammal. When you are working with a plant you are not bioidentical to that plant, so the body comes to meet the plant and the plant comes to meet the, 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 the mammal, but this is a bio, a structurally identical lipid version of the vitamin A and what it's gonna do when in its identical structural nature is it's going to stimulate you to make your own collagen. Right. And it's not gonna put the collagen on top. You're gonna make your own collagen. So I formulated this with different aspects because most conventional brands are going to um, add a ceramide because the ceramide is going to deal with the spots in between your skin cells if you think about it like brick and mortar mm -hmm. the mortar in between is the ceramides and then the uh, the retinol will deal with the cell okay. and so it smoothes off those the, the, you know, your so it's more instant gratification if you add the ceramides into it well it just it's a, it, it concerts it it's like a you know it's symphonically harmonious so this, yeah. Okay. So this is a naturally derived lipid ceramide that works in concert with the naturally derived retinol, pure retinol vitamin A, and it's also got vitamin D, E, K, vitamin B12, mm. and then um, <clears throat> there's also then I put CoQ10 there, which mm. oversees the whole process and kind of like primes your cells for all of this to take place and then there's baltic amber in it to kind of seal the deal and baltic amber um is going you know adds that mineral component mm. and then everything is structurally deliberately 
co-creatively working so you don't have to use the lab synthetic versions of everything. These are all whole, perfect, complete, the way nature designed it. So this is naturally yeah. basically activating your skin yes. to go into cell renewal process yes. at, and a, quicker, and, and at, a, at yeah. a quicker rate. Yeah. Um, I know it's so beautiful. Yeah, it's yellow. From it's yellow from the CoQ10 the, and the, the CoQ10 and the, ret and the retinol. But also the bioavailable is that when it comes from the animal finger. Bioidentical. Yeah. Is it almost like how when we take in a supplement within our body, it it, it becomes bioavailable because if we do it with a fat source. Mm, yeah. Is that sometimes, the same yep. idea? Yes. Yeah. When I take my vitamin A internally, because this feels like I a bomb, take like it feels the like vitamin a fat. When you take vitamin A internally, you're supposed to get it from a natural source. You are supposed to also take it with a fat food so that it, it can't, you know, and women need fat. I don't know oh, who, what I, man told us fat. that we don't need fat, but well, we need to function. We need fat to function. Fat is our friend. We need fat to yeah, function. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so and I don't know. Yeah, it's like a, but yeah. it feels like an emol an emollient kind of fat Yeah, it's store. a bomb. And I don't use foundation. I use this as my foundation. It, it creates a perfect glow. Mm. And it will. your skin will drink it in in... Like, I mean, if you're going to apply a foundation, I would I say... I put some wait. on you now, just yeah, so you can yeah, kind of yeah, see yeah. what can I use from yeah, here. Please. Um, I haven't touched a face in so long. Yeah, and so... exciting. Um, now, would you mix the yummy gold stuff that we, we haven't talked about yet into oh, that? Oh, yeah, I mean, you could, but I, I mean, you what do I do is I mix this. So this is my um, tonic. This is my ultraviolet rose tonic, and there is amethyst in that. And the am mm. amethyst is going to bring you manganese, and manganese is in charge of the superoxide dismutase. So this is where we, system. This, and the reason why we would use a toner is to bring the moisture in so that Deeper, it can, yes. into the dermis, yeah. Keep, so, you can keep talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would put the to, the, to, uh, <laughs> the tonic on, mm -hmm. and then when the face is wet, mm -hmm. then you then you press this apply. in. Mm -hmm. The retinoid. Can we talk about the yeah. CoQ10? And yeah. The... So the CoQ10, ooh. Mm. And, it's, and, and I, also, like the amber, I know that's the mineral element that you spoke mm -hmm. of. Yeah, and the amber is going to smooth out your brown spots. Down a little bit. And it's also uh -huh. like an Eastern European healing technique. They've been using this for many, many years um, as like, you know, amber heals wounds. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so it is going to like I mean, stimulate. It's beautiful on your skin. Yep, yeah, and it's going to stimulate the collagen project uh, production even more so and give you like, you know, just an extra boost. <laughs> so I'm it's so like just a concert it. of, of mm. holistics working together. Put it on your lips too. Mm. Yeah, I love it. I keep it in my, <laughs> 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 I keep it in my purse and I, in, in the winter time I see? use it on my lips. I see. I know mm -hmm. we're a little bit far away, but just turn a little bit so you can see yeah. your skin in the light. Yeah. And the smell. Okay. So I, 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 I came up with like the most, um, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, the essential oils that are like the most soothing for, the reason why I developed this actually, I mean, in all honesty, is because in my illness process, all of a sudden I woke up with eczema all over my eyes because my body's minerals that. were going, yeah, yeah, and I was like, oh great, I look like I'm a thousand. Okay, <laughs> I make skincare, this does not work, like I'm not gonna be able to sell anything because mm. I'm Rip Van Winkle who just woke mm. up underneath the tree. Well, sure what the hell is this? Yeah. And it was really painful and it was my body screaming out and you know, it was the mineral imbalance was, you know, it's, it, it was it also emotional, it was yeah. all of it. So I went through so many things trying to figure out how to heal this eczema on my eyes and it was like cast oil and, olive oil and millions of things and nothing was working nothing was working and this was the thing that would work the rest work the yeah. retinol so i came up with skin like a combination of essential oils that the skin loves for healing mm -hmm. and for wrinkle i mean because what happens with eczema is you get like an outbreak and then it turns puffy and itchy like mosquito bites and then it goes down and then it's just like it's rip friend yes. wrinkle you're a thousand it's dehydrated skin <laughs> it's insane yeah. and then that happens for like three weeks or maybe four weeks and you're like oh great i just aged you know i mean it was yeah. scary so i had to deal with the wrinkles around my eyes and so it's heliochrysium is one of my favorite i mean it's, it's pretty much rosemary heliochrysium Heliochrysium, yeah. Oh. I was just using it on my uterus today. Gorgeous yes. essential oil. It's mm -hmm. one of the so it's it's and stars so. heliochrysium. Okay. 
Neroli, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, Rose, mm -hmm. Frankincense. Definitely smell the Frank. And uh, what Helix. else? What else? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, well, that's the essential. I, oil. I know. I, a fennel. Oh yeah. And cypress. Cypress is so healing for the skin. Yeah. Yes. And so I really came up with this like targeted essential oil um, lineup. Okay. To mix with all of these, right. so it's really it's really like so many puzzle so pieces. Thoughtful. Putting them all together and very deliberate result. And let me tell you, I mean, we can, I wish I had a picture. Yeah. I looked insane. The, the I looked insane. After. Like you would have been like, oh, poor child. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like but insane. you needed to. Yeah. And I was, I was devastated. I thought that that was just going to be me for the rest sure. of my life because it was like, you know. But you're happening. the person who has the driving force to, yeah. to really navigate through that and not yeah. settle for that and to find yeah. a healing solution. Yeah. So this. And how great that you can just topically. Mm -hmm. And this is just, it's, and you know what else is really great about so you this? just formulate this. This is the newest yeah. one, right? Because yeah. I've been playing with all the other ones. And the, these two are the new ones. The yeah. magnesium. Yeah. And the retinol. Can you talk a bit about CoQ10? Because I think it's CoQ10 a. CoQ10 is there's a lot of, stimulating. It's going to stimulate that, that cell renewal process. Okay. So it comes in as just like the. The like the activator. Like, Come on, guys, let's right. do this. Yeah, like just activates. Yeah, and gets everything and back activates. into like motion. Yeah. And into it's action. really beautiful. Yeah, I, yeah. CoQ10, you you will lose your CoQ10 in your system because you have CoQ10, mm -hmm. and you will lose your Co CoQ10, and that's when you will start to see aging, right. signs of aging, because you've lost your CoQ10. Your ability to reproduce it. Yes. Or you just run out like it, but yes. your body also can naturally. Yeah, you produce it. Right. Yeah. But does it get to a point where you don't produce it, and so you have to give it yeah. support? Yeah, when to... your minerals are in balance. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Menopause. Yeah, well, you know. Well, our minerals have been in balance always, our hormones. I think, mm -hmm. I think it's. Menopause doesn't... is the body screaming to find balance. Completely, and yeah. it was already doing that with PMS and all that before. Oh, yeah. You shouldn't have PMS. No. Metabolic right. should be a breeze. Totally. You shouldn't have. P I mean, this is this is how we naturally are supposed to be as women. None of that should be a factor. If you have cramps, oh, and we've you just lived in a cramps. society that where it's like it's accepted, but yeah. it takes conversations like this and people who have walked mm -hmm. it before to really kind of um, yeah say that there is a different way yeah. and nature is the way for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I want to talk about the gold product because I feel like. Yeah. It's your wheelhouse. Well, that it she does all skincare, which is beautiful, and I do makeup, and so I I can use any of these under makeup. But what I do love is this: this is a it's a makeup skin food product. Yeah, makeupless makeup. I like right. I mean, yeah. is it's filled with this beautiful, it's, it's, sustainably sourced gold mica? Can yep. you read what it says? Yep. So this I call this my Savage Rose Luminous Balm, my makeupless <laughs> makeup, because <laughs> I just I don't know Savage Rose. I just like the like feeling of like rawr, mm. rose, you know? Can so, I dig into that? Cause yeah. I think you can really, are you sure? Yeah, so this is, looks like this and it actually, I, I formulated it purposely to work on all skin types. Dark skin, yellow skin, white skin, all of it. It's all going to lend to your beauty because I believe that, you know, all origins of femininity are, the, are well, beautiful equally, cool. so. I really designed something to highlight. No, you can't work, see it there. You know, work on everyone's skin. It basically looks like a gold cream highlighter. Yeah. And the amount that you get for this, like yeah. you could get this and you could share it with five of your friends and still have plenty for a whole year. Well, like, and I also put it on my arms and legs yeah, in the I, summertime. It's really nice on the body. Because it's like, you know. You can do it like right here on the yeah. clavicle right here. It's like your, it's like your, um, it's like a real filter. It is. It's like this beautiful, and it's so perfectly yellowy that it kind of diffuses any sort of redness in the face. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we tend to have more redness like around the nose, and oh, so yeah. mm -hmm. it naturally does that chin down. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just put a little bit right there. Mm -hmm. Where I like, I like to put it there, yeah. and then all over my eyelid. Mm -hmm. I don't like to put it everywhere. On some people, it looks amazing everywhere. Right, right. On right. Lily, I put it all over her face, and she just is like, it's like for me, I look a little bit. Or maybe I'm just conscious of looking yeah. greasy beyond dewy, so yeah, I really yeah. try to keep it on the outer perimeters of my face. Yeah. But yes, I love it mixed in with any body product. Yep. Um, you can put it on your lips. Mm, mm -hmm. I never put it on my lips. Oh yeah. I mean, I put it on my whole legs. Mm, you should put it on your lips, <laughs> but not my lips. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You see it? Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Love it. So I anyway, like you can do a million things with it. But yeah. So this is also you filled it with this beautiful gold mica. But what is how is it different? So compared it's to got the so I, so I steep these oils in. Ro this is or the oils. The combination of oils are steeped in um, rose petals and rose hips, and so you're getting that pure vitamin C. Mm. Um, and mm. and really, what it's doing is it's so topical vitamin C, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so it's a topical vitamin C that's going to um, that's going to feed your skin, and then it's also going to like minimize your wrinkles, but while it's also going to highlight you or mm. shine you. You know, like yeah, so it's, it's kind of. I don't. I don't like. I, I don't like to cover my face in in the the foundational makeup. Mm -hmm. I like makeup, but I don't like the foundational stuff. So that's kind of like my. Um, I always say like, you know, your your life hack, your little check before you leave the door. You should make sure that like in the morning you look the same. You don't want to look different, right? You go on a date, you're gonna be like, this is me, and then like in the morning you've got like weird I eyelashes think, everywhere and like you know the I pillows. Think part of our process, whatever. and for me for sure, yeah. is to invite women to redefine their relationship with their yeah. own unique beauty, whatever. Yeah whatever we were gifted with and really get into a place where we can appreciate our eyes. And then when we yeah. want to put on mascara, it's not because when we take it off, we're less than it's because we don't. Yeah, it's just the highlight of it. Have. I mean, once you start changing things, you start like, you know. Well, this is the problem. We change it and we yeah. try to replicate and we get validated in the world for that. Yeah. And yeah. then we're like, oh, I have to do this to keep up because actually, I'm more validated. Yeah. I, I'm found more beautiful than when I'm just in my natural state. So totally, um, it's a very slippery, dangerous slope. Yeah, and yeah. I'm um, happy so, to talk about it. And really, we're at a place where we can. Um, what I know to be more sustainable and way more fun is if we cultivate our beauty versus right, replicate it. Because, right, and cultivating. The, I mean, like the way that you use makeup, like pops of color, that could be like amazing. I mean, I'm not saying like. You should look the same. I'm just saying, like, you shouldn't know that alter. you actually love yourself, and then this yeah. is just a form of self-expression. Right, that's you the difference. All, you should make like when sure we get excited, like, ooh, I have some gold. But it's not because I need gold. Yeah, it just becomes it's like, like I'm the fun. type of person that if I was a bride, I wouldn't like spray my hair into a bouffant. I would keep it more natural, so I could kind of live through all aspects of the evening. Rather well, again, than like, that goes back you know, into the societal image of yeah. what that you should wear an updo when you get married when meanwhile your guys never seen you with your hair up and it would be totally right. weird. So, and, it, and it's stuck so there. So that's the conformingness and that's right. the replication and yeah. they, it's a business, it's fine. It's like yeah. they're gonna, you know, they're gonna flesh out all of these imagery that we've been a part of and contributing for all these years totally. saying that you will be, you are enough if you fall into this category versus yeah. like we're actually so much cooler the more unique we are. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so it's just, it's just, um, it's just us taking our sovereignty back, and that's really what these I times are all about. I love that. Um, and sovereignty is very yeah. important. Well, we had it, we're, and then we, we're, we, you know, we fall into a brainwashing system into programs, and we're born into stories, and it really takes a whole life journey, really of pain and suffering and self-realization yeah. to kind of get back to that. So we're all doing yeah. great, no matter where you are in the journey. Yeah, it's yeah, perfect, yeah, yeah. It's perfect, but it's also up I'm to us to like- I'm just saying the reason why I was, the reason why I came up with it was for me, because I, that's my, you know how, how like Chanel says, take, take one thing off before you leave the house, mm. but then, you know, somebody else who's a maximalist might not believe in that. But my own personal thing is I don't, this is how I interpret makeup. Yeah, and you never yeah. wanted to wear a foundation before, and so you made this because it's not that you didn't want all or nothing. You just wanted to highlight yeah. your skin. Or I wanted to be like, okay, I'm me too. I'm going to put some... But the other foundation just seemed too much of a commitment to me or something like that, you know? You just... You never... You never... Um, or I never knew how you to... never subscribed to it. Or I never maybe got educated on it. No, but like intuitively, you never really subscribe. Yeah. Then you're like always questioning. And then you're like, wait, I'm going to make something that actually feels like my type of foundation. Right. When meanwhile, it's just this beautiful, amazing skin food that happens to have all, like you've just formulated it so that with it just, shine. yeah, with yeah. the mica in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is probably, and it's so <laughs> universal. You can do anything with it. So yeah. you can gift it, you can share it, you can put it on your body, you can mix it with your makeup, you can mix it with your skincare, you can, yeah. you can wear it solo. It's just super universal. Yeah. And I found like, the value of it just because I've had it for a year now and I still have so much Yay! so it's just one of yeah. those like you get you get a lot <laughs> yeah yeah like yeah. The, you know these 
these will these will probably milliliters. You will use less uh, or you will use more of these, but you yeah. only need a very small amount. So I love, yeah. love, love this product. Yay. I love them all. Thank you. Um and it's really just a really simple um kind of what do you have? Seven ingredients or seven products? Seven products. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my like favorite Let's talk seller. About this, one. this one is my nature's facelift. Oh yeah, Let's talk and about so it's this. a hibiscus and go to cola creme. Can you educate us on go to cola yeah. because go to cola is yeah, yeah. And you said you just started taking it internally. I, I just yeah I it's just sourced it internally, internally. Mm -hmm. um, but the whole idea of it topically because mm -hmm. like let me just well and both will be really good but topically it, it, so what is go to cola go to cola is this amazing it, I think the the other name for it is pennywort. Okay, don't heard quote, that. Don't quote me on that, but I Love think herbalism. it might be pennywort. That's but, the herb. Yeah, the okay. name of the herb, and um, but I'm not sure. Um, Google that. But yeah. anyway, um, I'm going to the the um, it's from like the Pacific, the South Pacific. This like herb. Fiji, yeah, or okay. like you know those sorts that sort of part of the world. Sierra. And if tigers have like a um, little blemishes on them they will rub themselves in patches of it mm, just and intuitively it's an herb that like you know if you happen upon like a 200 year old indian woman she probably is working with go-to cola <laughs> it's like an it's like a um it's nature's botox really Ooh. so i call this nature's facelift how did you come to find it just well your, it's, a, it's an in interesting story my, my dad is obsessed with re researching and he was and he's obsessed with like self becoming so he told me once cool. one day, I told him I was making this product, or I was making products, and he said, oh Lord, guess what? I'm reading this book that you need to read. It's 500 pages. And I was like, okay, dad, yeah, like I've done, what, what book is it? He's like, it's a whole book on success. And I was like, okay, awesome. He was just telling me little parts of this book. And then I went into this go-to cola in my research, and we were exchanging research. He was reading this book on success. I was telling him about go-to cola. And I was like, Dad, you, I'm going to make some for you. It's nature's facelift. You're going to love it. I mean, it actually does lift. I mean, it's just all about creating a relationship with a plant. And so he was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just success book, success book. And then he calls me the next day and he was like, Laura, you're never going to believe it. The next chapter in the book talks about go-to cola. Wow. And I was like, really? And he was wow. like, oh, yeah. That's it's this guy who, like, he has 500 pages of how to, like, hack life and be successful. And go-to cola is one, go -to -cola is one of the hacks. Like, it will actually give you a facelift. But you, what you have to do is you have to formulate a relationship with it and you have to be diligent and this is a real you know it's a it's a collaboration it's not like you're gonna go and get Botox it's kind of like okay do it to me okay great I'm done well I think we come from a society of magic pills and we're right yeah. now learning that there's either side effects and there's nothing like yeah. there's always a repercussion of that yeah so for willing to be patient and to cultivate the relationship versus like this instant gratification yeah. and really that that's just a way more interesting journey versus like putting some weird stuff into our face and also obviously the messaging that's happening. So you might yeah. get an instant yeah. smooth thing, but it's for one, it doesn't last. And for another, it's weird toxins in your body and for all the things. Yeah. 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 So yeah. So I love the idea of like cultivating yeah. the relationship with the plant. And I think that's with yeah. everything across the board. Anytime right. we're working right. with nature, all the kingdoms, the minerals, it's yeah. like, that's why one time use won't kill you. But over years it will, and that's why one time use won't kill you. But over years it will. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. I don't Ultimately. know if it. I mean, this maybe years, maybe less. Okay. You know what I'm but saying? yes. Yeah. yeah. But, maybe it doesn't. But it know. does actually lift you. Like you will notice it, and um, it is. This is I call it my my triple action, corrective firming botanicals because it's a triple threat. It's the go-to cola, and then we have hibiscus, which is like going back into like the days mm. of Cleopatra. And um, hibiscus has been used very, very um, anciently. Vitamin C, right? It's vitamin C. So super another vitamin topical C. vitamin C. Yeah, I mean vitamin C. I was t I was telling um, I was telling you earlier. I remember when we were talking about vitamin C that you don't want to take a synthetic vitamin C. Let me just tell you, please hear me, and you're gonna think I'm nuts, but it's gonna be I told you so. <laughs> once, the, once the once the um, veils continue yeah, to be lifted yeah 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 that your ascorbic acid go look in your vitamin supplements ascorbic acid do not take it what it does is it throws your minerals off because that is an empty hollow molecule of vitamin c it does not have the copper center it does not have the tyrosinase mm. in the molecule of the vitamin c it doesn't come from the whole source it's made in the lab 
every single scientific paper on vitamin C is done with ascorbic acid, which is a chemical. It's not mm. coming from nature. I mean, that's how crazy science has, you know, gotten towards laboratory well, stuff. Well, even the name alone, it yeah. leads to that. You can tell that it's not a natural Yeah, so please don't take your vitamin C. I love you. <laughs> Anyway, uh, eat, eat, put it on your skin and let it be. Well, I mean, no, uh, take, it take whole food sources of yes. it. You no, throw this, out your vitamin C. You can absorb some vitamin acid. C. Yeah, this is vitamin C for your skin to have your skin thrive. But in, if you're going to take it, take Azarella cherry, take Caduca plum, or mm. take drink the hibiscus water. That's mm. super hibiscus vitamin C. C. Always. It's and then, so you know, another little hack is. Um, Cabbage has vitamin C, but when you when you ferment it, yeah, a hundred times the vitamin wow. C. Wow, a hundred times so much vitamin C. It's really really good for you, vitamin C. So anyway, the hibiscus mm. in this is going to be vitamin C for your skin. It's a true molecule of vitamin C. Mm. It's got the copper center in it, the tyrosinase. It's going to act mm. in concert with your living being, with its own living whole frequency the frequency of vitamin c and then the to top it off we have a uh, prickly pear which is one of my favorite 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 botanicals mm -hmm. because if you look at like the desert which we're surrounded the desert and you look Here at in like, california yeah you look at like us. how the prickly pear makes beautiful flowers without having very much water well, that's something they like, utilize, uh, right? Yeah. Like, take a little note from. You're like, how are you doing that? I, like I know to do when that they like too. when they like bloom and there's like yeah. a flower and they're in the desert so and they haven't seed. had water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, it encourages cell regeneration. So what you're doing is you're building, you're you're going to be lifting with the go to cola. You're going to be feeding your skin and your collagen with the hibiscus, and then you're going to mm. be cell regenerating with the prickly pear. And those three things are going to work together, and it's. I mean, this is really like. So let's real quick do a rundown of how you would stack these and when yeah. you would use them, because we have okay. just a few minutes left, and I want to make sure that we have just okay. We can't go into depth anymore, but like how you would use them. I think we've covered them all. So yeah, except great. for the body oil. This is oh. really great. This is all about scent, Ugh. and it's 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 also it's oh, luxurious. Oh, so there's two oils, real quick. These are the these are my oils. This is a face oil. This is vegan. And this is um, my body oil, and this is also vegan. And uh, these are comedogenic zeros. And a so lot of times people- non comedogenic oils? Yeah, yeah non-comedogenic, which is a fancy way of saying it's not gonna clog your pores. So if you're an oily skin or you're a dry skin, both of these are gonna support you and they're going to work in concert with your system. And um, they smell and feel divine. Yeah, that, that's all, all I know. The, yeah, this this body oil is all about the. Mm. It's called wooded elderflower, and oh. I made it because when I was a kid and I would mm. go into the forest, I would be like completely. What are the What are the essential oils in there? The Just, essential oils. Well, there's elderflower CO two, and then there's a Palo Santo. Palo it's Santo. a wooded floral oh, combination. It's so divine. Lang Lang. There's um, frankincense and mm. sandalwood and. Palo Santo, so it's kind of giving you that kind of like mm. whimsical or majestic forest, like where the light is beaming. Mm. And the, the rays are coming mm -hmm. through the trees, but you're laying on the earth right yeah, there and, and you're smelling it in and there's yeah. a breeze happening. Yeah, yeah, that's what this is. Ugh. That's what this is. I and can this totally is, picture that. This is so, yeah. Fragrance is poisonous. We don't have enough time to oh, go Oh, yeah, that. that's a whole subject. <laughs> we don't have time to go in that. But, but you know, this essential is, oils this are This is a nature's. layering piece with your fragrances. So, you should be like when you get into natural scents, you should be layering, and so yes. you layer in your unique combinations. Totally. And so this is your layering piece. This is your moisturization when you get out of the bath, and then it's also like maybe your first layer of your uh, scent that you're going to be for the day. Then oh. you put on an essential oil, and mm. then it's going to layer with this. Well, this that also acts piece. as a carrier oil because when you, I only use essential oils for fragrances. Yes. So you need a carrier oil. So instead yeah. of just doing a plain jojoba, I can do that and I can stack them because it already has the base of yeah. all the woody things that I love. Yeah, yep. Then I'm gonna add some cedar wood into it. I'm gonna yeah. add some arbor vitae to it. And you make your own scent. Which I already do anyway, mm -hmm. but I love the idea yeah. of doing it with that. But I love it. I love a good body product that like carries oh, it's 50, your it's scent. It's 59 minutes, so we're about, about to shut minutes. down. Okay. In closing, yeah, this has been so fun. We could talk for hours and hours and hours. 
please ask any questions or share share this with anybody who you feel called to share it with if there's any questions you have for us we are just in the conversation of cultivating yes. conscious beauty versus replicating unconscious beauty yeah. that is where we cross over yeah and so i guess I'm in happy the comments to... we'll put my uh link oh, to my yes. website yeah where can you find you yeah bellanectar.com we... and yes we can B -E -L -A -N -E -K -T -A -R. put that b-e-l-a-n-e-k-t-a-r Dot yeah, com. they're stunning, <laughs> and we're going to talk more about it um, so that we can get these into your hands and you can understand how powerful these products are. So, yeah, yeah thank you. It's my for... chicken soup for your face. Oh, look at that. That sums it all up pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Lauren. Oh, thank you. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye. <laughs>